right. Hey, everybody who's tuning in to the uh, Lab Code Agents World Family Nation. Um, I'm super excited about this one. We got another killer webinar for everybody to tune into and a very special guest. I just need to, to mention Sunit, very particularly, absolutely incredible real estate professional, uh, nationally, internationally known. I mean, when it comes down to it, ranked number one team in the entire state of California, absolutely crushing it, dominating their market, not only in there, but Sacramento, California. We've got so much incredible information coming your way. And as the title states, lead nurturing, which everybody's talking about leads and what they do with them. But at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned, the fortunes and the follow-up, um, this man will drop some major bombs and I cannot wait. So Sneet, Thank you so much for taking the time. It's an honor and a pleasure, my friend. Thanks, Greg. I'm just super stoked to be back home where it all started, right? If you guys don't know my story out there in Lab Coat Land, I was you. <laughs> Five years ago, I was an agent struggling, and someone told me about Lab Coats, and I got on Lab Coats, and I started messaging, DMing everybody who I wanted to, uh, whose business I wanted to emulate. And luckily enough, like Tristan really helped me out and he got me started, gave me the basics of the knowledge. I called the dude way too much. So Tristan, I love you. Thank you for your time. I love probably Tristan. owe you a good meal. I think I fought you a couple of good meals, but, um, <laughs> um, and just kept on going in, right. Kept on leaning into the group, going to events that I found out through the group. So all you agents out there struggling lab coat agents should be your place to get back you know, give you back some direction, right? Copy me, reach out. Mm -hmm. We're all here for, for you. So uh, super good to be back home on Lab Coats. Ah, um, awesome. And yeah, so, you know, through the years, uh, the way we were able to really rise quickly, I've been an agent for seven years, right? My mm -hmm. seventh year, I'm the top in the state of California. Um, so was through not only Lab Code agents and what I learned there, but through online leads. Mm -hmm. um, so online leads have no doubt been the backbone of my entire business. Um, and through the years, I've realized a lot of things, trying out a lot of different platforms. And it only helps more as I understand agents more, mm -hmm. right? Because I mean, you know, now I, you know, run two massive organizations and my understanding of agents is more than it was when I started, just kind of naturally, <laughs> Fair right? Enough. Um, so I think lead nurturing, just like you said, Greg, if you're not able to get that appointment in the beginning, like, what are you going to do, mm -hmm. right? And let me just, let me just uh, start the deck here. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure I do this right. Share screen. Where's my deck? let's see there we go Oops, wait press the wrong button okay present can you see it all right yep beautiful all right it worked greg it worked <laughs> hey it works every the stars once are aligned the stars are aligned let's see how, how much further we can go across it's so, friday it's friday We're yeah. <laughs> lead nurturing that's me it's neat number one team in California for 2020. Hmm. My marketing department sure knows how to make me look good. So shout oh, out to Chris. I was going to say, you, you look great. That's a great photo. <laughs> and, a great and it's photo. not a high school photo, my friend. I know yeah. it's you. You know, Yes, that's yes. That's really recent. <laughs> yeah. I've lost about 10 pounds since then. So I want that to be added. But oh, yeah. Get out of here. Awesome. <laughs> um, so what are we talking about, right? Mm -hmm. Is this lead nurturing and kind of what that this entire process should be and almost every let me let me back up if you're getting leads i hope you're using some kind of crm mm -hmm. right and every crm has a lot of these features i like follow-up boss i think follow-up boss is the best there's some other good ones but if you're a view if you're a viewer shout out to dan corco and follow -up boss all of us use it. It is the best. Mm -hmm. And but I want the eight. I want the list. The viewers to be, be really granular here, right? Is when a lead comes in, you have some kind of automation set up, whether it's something built into like an email drip 
or if you're using another product like call action which is another one of my personal favorites or another product like ylopo which is another favorite right mm. um but at the least you have an email drip and if you don't change systems and get an email drip you right. can probably get it for free from your um for, from your office right mm -hmm. uh if, if you don't decide to go with follow boss which is what i like um so give yourself basically nine phone call and text attempts from yourself to contact this person. Mm. Three attempts over three days. Learn that from my first coach, Michael Hellickson, three attempts over three days mm. to make contact. And when you make contact, go for an appointment. Don't offer to send them houses, folks. Mm. You don't, they don't need you to do that. <laughs> Let me make you a safe search. Guess what else they don't need? A damn safe search. The sooner that you realize that the Zillow ex experience or realtor.com, their user interfaces and their name brand recognition, the consumer would much rather be on those. There That's are sad. some like, Ylopo has, ha, has a good interface. Um, what's the other program that we use? They're gonna kill me. Andrew. I know the owner's name. I can't think of the company's name. Um, regardless, there's some platforms that have a nice user interface, mm -hmm. but you're wasting time to, to get these people on the phone and offer to send them houses. That's just a waste. Do you right. want another email over some stuff that you can just Google? <laughs> there's an app for that, right? Yes. Neat, come on. <laughs> um, so get them on the phone, see what their time frame is. Hey, look at it by yourself. If it's short, keep it, go for the appointment. What's an appointment if they're, if they're six months up? Mm. Barry Jenkins is taught me this and Tristan is um, try and go for a buyer consult. Mm. Try and you know have that conversation about what it takes to be pre-approved. Try and have that conversation about you know uh, the best things to look for, what kind of, you know, what school they're looking for to get really granular. Mm -hmm. But if you don't reach them in three days, dump it put mm. it to another side of your of your crm or hopefully you're using one we're just going to assume everybody for the for the rest of this call is using a crm so i don't have to say that every time yeah good um, call. put it in another section of the crm and let the emails do it right which which we'll talk about let the automation or the email work the lead you're gonna drop the ball and number three I say this to my agents every day. Quit expecting you can manually nurture somebody long term. You 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 won't. Right. Not that you can't. You won't. Because what's going to happen tomorrow? Another lead is going to come in. <laughs> what's going to happen the day after that? Another lead is going to come in. And I think if you're not able to reach them in that first little week time nine attempts send some text messages right text messages and phone calls the the, the emails don't count mm. right but try them nine ten times i remember ben kenning used to say the 10 days of pain don't keep it longer than a week i tell my agents don't keep it longer than than three days and you better reach out three times a day well until said. you contact that that person but quit expecting that you will manually nurture somebody to a long-term escrow I've been running leads and running teams for a long time. And until that, I mean, when that met happens is the only time, there's not like somebody who's been in your system that you call once a week for the last two years, that's probably gonna transact. I mean, that's just the reality. Right. Right, so set the appointment, set the appointment, set the appointment. I want all of you guys, this is not and this is not a training on how to set appointments, right? This is a training on how to nurture and we're getting really granular mm -hmm. and saying you focus on the Mets. Your only goal is to set appointments and you focus on the Mets. Love it. Like for example, we set five, 600 appointments every month on my wow. team, hmm. right? Um, 
folk, I mean, you know, Mets are maybe half and how many halves actually happen, mm-hmm. right? Like how many of them transact? Well, then you have to nurture those people because these people may have just been driving through town on their way to Tahoe and want to stop by and see a house, right? Yeah. Um, so you have to focus on the Mets. And the real main reason is the consumer is 70% likely to work with the first agent that they meet, mm-hmm. right? And when you meet them, the the rest of your cadence for the rest of the nurture is based on their timeline. Mm-hmm. And here's the cadence, right? Somebody who you met who is likely to transact in three in one to six months, they should have some kind of touch <clears throat> weekly. Now that can be an email open. So mm-hmm. we'll 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 talk about emails, right? I use follow a boss, MailChimp plugs in a follow a boss. Any good CRM will tell you if somebody opens an email. Right. So email open counts. Okay. And automated text, like we call action, we have multiple drips, right? Where it'll send something once a week. Hmm. My first hire in real estate was a virtual assistant through Virtue Desk, which I found here on Lab Code Agents as well. Shout out to Pavel. I love it. Um, hire a virtual a virtual person. And they can text through your CRM once a week because you're task based and once a week, am I saying every seven days, call it six to 10 days, okay. right? Do it the same day every week, do it how, how, how you want, but you should really not be task based on this, right? I'm going to go to the bottom here. Hmm. Task based lead follow up is hard and easy to miss. Hmm. I have what 50, 60 agents in my follow up boss account. Wow. They each have over like 200 old tasks. Like that is just an old way of looking at it. Right. So it should be based on their time frame, Right. And then it's either once a week or once a month. Is the warm or cold person that you met, is it really a nurture? Hey, I meet this person. They seem hot, but they're but they really say, "Hey, I'm going to buy in six months. I'm waiting for this. Reach out once a month, and and email open counts." Hmm. Is a warm or cold lead really would? You meet a person, and they're never going to get pre-approved. They're totally. I'm trying not to cuss. They're totally. <laughs> um, just doing nothing, right? Just out doing nothing. Send it to the same nurture cadence where it's done through automation or just with email opens. Hmm. Yeah, so here's, right, every six to nine days. Every week, we send every lead in our system a brand new relevant video. Love right. That. Something that we film, we, we, we produce five to six videos every week, content based, and we send something once a week hmm. and email open counts and engagement with Y Lopo are my CRM counts. Hmm. So there'll be many cases where we can see like this guy, like this guy's a met, but we know he's out he's still opening up an email every week. You think that guy is engaged? Yeah. Maybe text him every once in a while to, to, to see, but I count an email open as engagement. Right. I want every agent to take a picture of this. Remove, have you seen any homes you want to see? <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so weak, bro. Yeah. My agent still send it out every day. You are devaluing yourself. Hmm. Take it out. Do never say again, have it. Hey, just checking in. Have you seen any homes that you want to see? Let that burn into your brain. <laughs> Do not send that. Oh. Do not. That's no value. 
Film a market update once a month, everybody. Go to your MLS, get the data, film a market update. It's easy. It's as easy as doing being on a Zoom. <laughs> Hi there. Wanted to share my latest market update video with you. Easy. Something else I learned from Tristan. And this could be your one touch a month. Mm. People are always curious about the market. And that information is not as easy to find. Right. While, while looking at houses, is, it's incredibly easy. There's hundreds of websites. Mm -hmm. I found this article and thought you might find it useful. Let's say that you met a person who is six months out because they have some tax issue or something, right? Guaranteed, you can you know, sign up with Keeping Current Matters or even set up a Google uh, News Saved search, mm -hmm. right? How to fix your credit. Have, the, have these articles on deck. We pay the 20 bucks a month for Keeping Current Matters and they put out new content every month. Mm -hmm. And just share that link. Instead of, have you seen any homes that you wanna see? Check out this property I just hand selected for you. Right. What do you think? Hmm. Just you, I mean, if you guys just use this, these three things, maybe add, hey, did you hear about the parade this weekend? Or this new restaurant, you know, um, just just opened not too far and from the location where we met. Hmm. Those little types of things have so much value then. Have you seen any homes that you want to see? Just checking in, have you seen any homes you want to see? Just checking in, have you seen any homes you want to see? Right. And, and to that, though, when you look at it, being hyper-local is even more uh, direct. It's, it doesn't seem like gen general or generic. So I love that ad for sure. Yeah. I mean, you guys, like, you could ease. This isn't going to take a long time. Like, set up those saved searches through Google News and get, you know, new restaurants. Mm -hmm. gets you know local activities and you can just share those things monthly or weekly mm -hmm. are you annoying well maybe you are <laughs> but and maybe you are right people likely to transact appreciate the check-ins mm -hmm. how many times have you met somebody and then you follow up, you don't hear back, you follow up again. I'm going to follow up every week because it's met and, and they're hot. Do they ever say, hey, if they're likely to transact and say, hey, enough is enough? No. The people who are annoyed and never likely to do anything are the ones that say no thanks. Countless times. I, I met this uh, seller. I finally made it to their house. Hmm. Seven month old lead. How many times, I mean, I didn't call him or reach out to him once. It was automation and it mm -hmm. was a virtual assistant. And this and the and and the homeowner said, um, you know, your staff is so great. They followed up about every week or two. And I appreciated it, even though I never got back to anybody. So tell whoever that they did a great job. Wow. That was somebody I paid less than five bucks an hour to in the Philippines working in the middle of the night folks who mm. can also like make me marketing flyers who can also find all these articles. So it's a great use for an ISA, right? To nurture a virtual ISA, talk to virtue desk, mm. ask if you can follow up. Oh, not right now. Great. You know, do you mind if I follow up in a month? If they say no, then quit trying. Right. If they say yes, then you know, right? Mm -hmm. And after one month, let's say that you try somebody every week and they don't and, and they don't answer. After a month of that, this is a met. You try somebody every week and they don't answer. And after a month, start reaching out once a month. Because hmm. they've they've obviously cooled down. Sure. So this is right, here's our, here are the 
month long nurtures, one engagement a month. It could be an email open, like or comment on your social post. Should you be retargeting everybody in your CRM on Facebook and social media? Yes. For sure. We do that. We balls to, to the wall. Every one of those towns says every time they go on Facebook, all they see is me. So good. Mission accomplished. Hey, lucky Great. them. Lucky yeah. them. <laughs> Thanks to Travis Tom, who I also met on Lab Code Ages and is an incredible other moderator, right? Love it. Love it. Um, holiday text. You can find 10 holidays every year, right? Program those in. Market update. Film the market updates. Did you see the article about whatever? And number seven is something. Send them something. Do something. As long as it's not, did you see any houses? Like, you're creative. You're a realtor. You're an entrepreneur. Send them something. It doesn't have to be perfect. Hmm. I don't care if you send the same damn article to everybody that you're nurturing. Just send something. Don't get frozen analysis paralysis on trying to find that perfect thing. This is how we do it. From the med appointment, this is at a team setting folks. On a med appointment, day six, seven and eight is a reminder to the agent. On day nine, the automation kicks off, a virtual assistant kicks off, or an ISA kicks off. Mm. Hello, Greg. This is Sunit, Jake's assistant. Just want to follow up on her showing appointment from a couple of weeks ago. Is there anything I can do to help you with? Right? Mm -hmm. So if they don't respond, fine. Day 15, 16, and 17, we remind the agent again. Day 18, the same kind of process. Mm -hmm. Day 24, 25, 20, 26. On day two, on day twenty seven, the same the same process. Wow. If it's the if it's been a month, then we just go once a month after that. Gotcha. Th does this make sense? It, it it does it does and and, and Sunit, to that to that effect too. We, we're getting a few comments through the chat, and I don't know if this is this is proper timing into it, but someone asked, "What platform do you use to send mass texts?" So oh. I don't know if that's relevant um, or your thoughts on that. I have not sent the mass text in years. Gotcha. Gotcha. None really do it anymore because and that's on purpose because people kept on getting sued. Well, so we don't send we don't send mass texts. Okay. Are there any other relevant uh, questions right now? No, that was um, that was really it so far. Okay. So what resources are, are we using? Uh, these are by far the most common conversations happening on lab code agents. Follow a boss, incredible CRM, call action is incredible. Why Lopo is incredible. Virtual assistance from VirtuDesk. I have ISAs. If somebody wants, uh, wants ISAs just starting out, uh, VirtuDesk has them and Power ISA, which is another group that helps here in lab code agents too. So this is all like, these are all people that are not my friends because of being a lab code agent, right? <laughs> these are all people that Tristan introduced me to because I know that he was using them at, at, at some point. Love it. Right, so that's it. Oh, that was killer. It, and somebody did ask uh, about the slide deck. So is that gonna be available to, to anybody who's tuning in here? Sure. Okay, okay. I'm sure we we'll um, get that out. Yeah, Jake, I, I don't know how you want me to do that. I'll share you a link or something. Okay. Any other questions? Let's see what else we got. Oh, here's one. Uh, I, and I guess this is open to whatever interpretation you have. What's your most challenging experience in nurturing leads? That's kind of vague, but um, I mean, I guess that would be a question as to where's, where do you find the biggest challenge in nurturing leads? I mean, is it just the consistency? Is it the systems that are in play? Is it you know, touch points and the, the amounts of frequency. What, what are your thoughts? The challenge is people doing it. There you go. When I was an agent, you never want to do the damn thing, right? 
because you're <laughs> oh my god i'm annoying oh man right you said that to yourself as a salesperson but right greg sure I've gotta be annoying to this person i've gotta be annoying mm -hmm. i want to win and i like money there you and go. i love helping people so if they don't know that i'm going to help them until i remind them every week for months hey <laughs> right like <laughs> Like you can like, that's why. And here's the thing is, I know that many of the viewers on here came on here because they're afraid to do the nurturing because they don't want to be annoying and that's okay. Mm. In those cases, recognize that right. and outsource it either to an automated system or to a virtual assistant. Mm -hmm. Like guys, if you're selling 10 houses a year, go hire a virtual assistant and you'll get to 20 faster than ever. I have 15 of them and mm -hmm. I, and I just love it. Give me some more. I told my guys last night, let's, let's get a couple more. <laughs> well, you're talking about leveraging and, and automation and, and growth and scale. And I think that anybody in that realm of their life, that's really looking to take it to the next level, you've got to put different processes in place and you got to put the work in. You're never going to see different results with the same output. And, and I think to your point, so many people, uh, you know, the lack of consistency is, is killer. I mean, somebody who's even halfway putting this to practice, but they're consistent and they're putting the work in is going to be way ahead of somebody who's just thinking about it. Analysis or paralysis of analysis sort of scenario. So uh, I love that answer, Sunny, when you're talking about that. It makes a lot of sense for everybody out there. Open up your phones, everybody who's on here and wants to be better at lead nurturing. Open it up right now. Go to your calendar app and block an hour every week you could do one hour tuesday the next week do wednesday the one next week do do thursday or do them all the same time every day so you know yeah but you can get this done in an hour or two hmm. yeah. notice i didn't say pick up the phone and call these people <laughs> right see if they open the email if they did it, send them a text. Send them a text with the same damn email in it. I don't give a shit, right? Yeah. I mean, send them something. Yeah. And and I'm not talking. And I'm not. I'm talking about Mets, right? So how many times? And it happens to my agents all the time, where they meet somebody, and oh, the appointment went okay. Oh, I don't really know. But you never talk to them again. Like, right. how are you going to know? Well, you're frightened to follow up with it with that person, mm -hmm. right? So use automation. Or send a text. I mean, sending a text is not scary, but make it something of value. Hmm. Not seen any houses you want to see this week. <laughs> it's harder for them to reply to you than to just click the button on Zillow or Realtor.com and talk to another agent. Right. Yeah. That, you got to I mean, remember that crucially valuable information when you're talking about it and so many uh, poignant takeaways and, and what's great about what you're talking about is you you eat sleep and breathe this you've done this and it, you're not you're not reinventing the wheel everybody out there i mean sunid just showed you the blueprint the blueprints there it, you you got to implement you got to look at your goals and where you want to go your your surroundings and, and knock it out and the people that are really taking action and listening to true pros such as this lovely gentleman here, uh, they're able to really see the growth and there's, there's no secret sauce. There really isn't. So, you know, running big organizations, I wanted to make it so easy. Hmm. I wanted to make it so easy that somebody in the Philippines with no real estate knowledge and not even the greatest English can manage it hmm. via text inside a CRM. Wow. Right. And any agent like you guys, like I didn't invent this. This isn't new information. I've just condensed it. And like, we just practice it daily. Hmm. Right. And this, this is the easiest way. Like, this is not new info. I'm not like patting myself <laughs> on the back for being some, you know, professor like Barry Jenkins. Right. Oh, um, <laughs> but um, I am just laying out the simple blueprint, like, this is this you just just do this yeah right yep. quit sending that text you seen any houses you want to see this week quit it <laughs> quit thinking that this cool lead that you got that this cool lead that you got 
that you've never spoken to and you've been calling or maybe you spoke to him once, but you have a set appointment in, in a month, mm. just quit. Next, there's more appointments out there. Gosh. And, and this is not the meeting on how to get appointments. This is on how to nurture those meds. <laughs> That's right. And I think that to your point though, lead nurturing is, is the crucial fact. And, and it, you had stated to, or a little bit earlier alluded to that there's so many professionals that say, gosh, I, you know, I, give me the leads, give me the leads. But the problem is, is every single day, there's so many things that are happening all around the real estate professional, the daily activities, buyers, sellers, deadlines, negotiations. When a new lead comes in, the automation, the leverage points, everything's got to be running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Yes. And setting up those systems and understanding those processes. So really you don't necessarily want more leads. You, you want more appointments. You want more close transactions. Um, and and I, I love the fact that you had talked about the lead nurture side. I, I know that everybody's probably thinking to themselves, okay, well, you know, Sunit had mentioned a few of the, the places to generate leads. Um, that's a whole nother topic, right? I mean, getting the leads, getting the exposure, you know, you mentioned the retargeting and doing all the things that are the following. I mean, this is gold, this is incredible information out there for everybody who's tuning in. So hopefully, um, you know, everybody's getting a ton of value out of this. Uh, I'm just wanted to see if there's anything else. It looks like, um, looks like Jake said that we could send, you could send the slide deck to Sandra and then she yeah. would blast it out. So that looks, everything looks good that way. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's neat. Any other thoughts or, or add-ons or anything like that? And we went through the slide deck. Um, you know, we, we had a, a fantastic dialogue. It's been great hanging out with you, but I just want to make sure that- Oh we- yeah, what was your favorite part since it was so fantastic, Greg? Let me you know, ask you a good question. You know, for, for me, in, in addition, it was just you lighting a fire. I, I think that you're, you're, very, um, you're very direct in a positive way. And there's no excuses. You know, at the end of the day, just do the work, just get it done. And, and, and again, there's so many tools, so many systems, so many processes. There's so many real estate professionals all over the world who are absolutely crushing it. Uh, and everybody's got a slight different way to go about it, but they all put the effort. They all put the work. And I, I just love your messaging and delivery. That, that was my favorite part. Good. The That's, That's a good, good answer, dude. Good. I loved it. I loved it for sure. Yeah, guys, I, you nailed it. Like, here's a simple way to do it. Simple enough that you can outsource the whole thing. You can outsource the whole thing for five, 600 bucks a month. If you don't do it, you can outsource the whole thing for five, 600 bucks a month crazy. Uh, and also get other stuff done, right? Perfect reason to hire a VA. This was not designed to be a VA pitch, but go hire a VA, uh, <laughs> it, it, right? Five, 600 bucks a month. I should cover it. Um, and you know, you can outsource the whole thing. You can outsource the whole thing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Well, hey, and I mean, not, and just dig in and do the damn work. And you're right. There are no excuses. Hmm. You want to go tell your kid, hey, there's nothing for Christmas. Daddy didn't do the work. I don't. <laughs> my, my kids get whatever they want, baby. <laughs> oh, so, I love that. I love it. And, and, and again, I, it's so it's so fascinating to me just to have, you know, incredible conversations with true practitioners and uh, just to get that perspective in there. And, and the, the commonality, the common ground is just the, the, the drive, the determination, the work ethic, and uh, the passion that's behind that to get it done, but then helping others and growing and, and making an impact on the community. I mean, you're not number one in the entire state of California by the Wall Street Journal, mind you, for no reason, right? And, and, and furthermore, what I find to be even more impressive, this is just my opinion, you did it in seven years. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, that is impressive, damn it. Think, think about that. And I, I'm not I'm not just saying that because I'm alive today. I mean, I have conversations with real estate professionals all over the world. And we've shot, gosh, over 230 some odd live episodes. So I can easily say this when just because you're in the business 30, 40 years and you're a seasoned pro does not mean that you can't get it done smoother, faster, better, and leveraging everything. And you've done it. Seven years. I, I'm sorry. Ar- someone argue with me in the chat, um, but this man's doing it right. So I love it. I love what you're doing and the team and the growth. And uh, this has just been a great, it's been a blast uh, ha- uh, having uh, this conversation for sure. Good. I'm so glad. Any other thoughts or, 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 or uh, add-ins before we, we kind of wrap this up? Let's see. 
I'm, I'm talking to Tristan, everybody about doing this more frequently with other topics. Like we did lead gen, you know, our lead nurturing this week. Maybe we do gen another time. Mm. Maybe we do like operations or recruiting another time. Right. Um, so because as we talk about this, like this is just the fun stuff. <laughs> all, the, all the hard stuff is, uh, is, is, is next time. Oh, I love it. And that's getting a seat at the table, right? It's it's having that opportunity to do everything that you just mentioned and more. Um, somebody asked, will you have access to the slides? Yes, um, that's going to get sent out. And um, somebody asked about Sacramento to learn to build this out. Um, can we come to Sacramento and learn to build this out at your office, um, Ernesto? So I don't know if he's your bud or if he just too. I don't out. know. You can send me a DM, bro. We could talk. Yep. Ernesto, DM this man. And I would encourage everybody who's tuning in, uh, follow, subscribe, really learn from the best and the brightest minds. And, you know, Sunit has been there to really share this. And, and uh, gosh, I cannot wait for more content from you, my friend. Hang on one second. Let me show you guys. Like, check out the um, YouTube channel because these are examples. Hey, everyone of all the content that we share with clients in our nurturing. Oh, this is killer. Right? Like, so this is just, this is just bullshit, right? How to pick <laughs> the right real estate. How's the market looking? Here's one of my agents, Jasmine. Should I still get a home inspection? Home re rental tips. What can you buy in Folsom? The advantage of buying a new build home, market update. Like, look at this. This ain't pro. Look at me. I'm sitting uh, in, a, in the same room with a worse <laughs> camera. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Right. Anyways. Um, and what, what's the name of the channel? Is that Sunit? Uh, so Best Sack Homes Group. A long ass name. Best Sack Homes Group at Big Block Realty North. Okay, cool. And then check me out on my Instagram. That's the best way. We're maxed out on Facebook friend requests. But Instagram, it's at... Um, Sunit, at something, at, <laughs> let's see, I know. it is at Sunit underscore, let me write it down, let me write it down, Q and A, where's the chat, where's the chat, there it is, um, Sunit Agarwal 916. Sunit, I just, I, I just sent you a friend request on Facebook, it, you know, if you have a, a straggler, that's not really engaging. Okay. If you had freed the spot up for me, my friend, I would return that favor. I, I, I it's always that tug of war, right? At the 5,000 to, uh, to kind of make room for people who are really engaging with your content, like-minded individuals. But uh, this is my first engagement with you and I loved it. I thought it was great. So, uh, you know, I know Tristan doesn't hang out with people that just aren't great um, at what they do and who they are. So yeah, it was just, it was just killer. Uh, any other links or thoughts uh, before we wrap this up for everybody? I didn't know if we had a specific time frame, but gosh, we've been going for almost 40 minutes. So it just feels I like- I don't know either. So why don't we call it good and, uh, <laughs> and everybody just do the damn work and, and we'll see you next time. I love it. I love it. Thank you, everybody at LCA, Lab Coat Agent, World Nation Family. Um, thank you so much for your time and attention. We love you so much and we hope to catch everybody in the next webinar. We would love to have Sunit back to share more knowledge, drop more bombs. This man is doing it to the highest of levels. And uh, Sunit, I can't thank you enough. It was an honor and a pleasure, my friend. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye.